Hello, 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 everyone. It is Peter with Master Your Money Academy. We're gonna just wait a quick second and hopefully more people will join. So we'll wait just another second. Hopefully more people will be able to join us for our live Financial Freedom Friday. See, I see one person on line with us. Um, I guess maybe say hello. I don't see who's watching with me yet. Oh, hi, Monica. How are you? Uh, we'll wait another second. I see a couple more people hopping on. Hi, Jason. I just noticed I have multiple devices going, so um, they all get to see. Hi, Parker. Hi, Derek. So welcome to Financial Freedom Friday. I'm Peter Myers and I'm so excited to host this um, series. So today we're all gonna be talking about vision of financial freedom. So what is your vision for your life? How is mastering your money aligned with that vision? And what does financial freedom mean to you? Those are all questions um, that we're gonna be tackling today. So feel free to drop those in the comments. Would love to hear about um, how you want to really be set up for financial freedom. And we're going to talk today in our first webinar for Financial Freedom Friday, all about breaking down our vision, how financial freedom aligns with that, how our money aligns with that, and how we can be very intentional and purposeful. So I want to first introduce myself. Um, for those of you that I may not know, uh, I'm Peter Myers, and I was born and raised here in Houston, Texas. I'm actually home in Houston right now on our staycation per se. Um, but I guess my permanent residence is Des Moines, Iowa. Um, that's where I've been for the past two years. And uh, how I ended up in Iowa, I went to Iowa State University, graduated with a degree in finance and um, graduated with honors, did a thesis on real estate finance, published in the Wall Street Journal. So um, yes, you can Google me if you're so inclined afterwards. Um, but anyway, that, um, and then from there, I went into corporate finance in real estate finance. I worked for H&I Corporation, and that's where I really found my vision. Working in corporate finance, um, don't get me wrong, was a great, great experience to launch my career. But what I realized is that I can provide so much more um, opportunities to people working um, so it's fantastic. Um, yeah, Chase, um, breaking that eight to five um, schedule. Um, absolutely. <laughs> so it, I have um, so much more freedom now. And we're going to talk about that, how you get to align your career with your freedom. So um, that's a great comment, Chase. Appreciate that. Um, yes. So I was up in um, New York working in corporate finance um, with H&I Corporation. And then came back to Iowa in 2018 and went into education. So um, I get to combine my passion for financial literacy with my passion of educating others. And that's really how Master Your Money Academy has kind of grown um, so far. It's been a really fantastic week. So hopefully you all saw um, on Monday and with Millennial Monday um, and we talked about rainy day funds and we're gonna tie that in today as well. Um, and then yeah, so my vision is really to start with empowering you guys to be financially free, to have that freedom of setting up your life for success. So I have definitely had my own um, journey and everyone's journey is different. So everyone's vision is different. So starting with what do you want to create in your life? Because 100% is possible 100% of the time. You're in the driver's seat of that. And you're in the driver's seat of your finances and money as well. So we get to make money work for us and we get to control and drive it at the same time. 
Um, hi, Brooke. Yes, I am published in the Wall Street uh, Journal. So um, I guess my thesis is actually on how price impacts on um, and how it handles when corporations relocate across the country that impact in communities. Um, so yes, go Google. I talked about Amazon headquarters. Um, I, the interview was in 2019. So um, I guess I'll give, just give you a fun fact um, that I actually recommended to Amazon that they not set up a headquarters in New York City uh, because it is so dense and already overpopulated. Um, so I like to say that they took my advice. Um, so I don't know if that's a selling point for you to tune in and <laughs> let me educate you on finances. I hope that uh, inspires you. So uh, that's a little fun fact about me and how my education aspect got started. But um, really what I want to talk about is like how money doesn't buy happiness. Um, I shared a little bit how I was in corporate finance um, and it was a great experience to launch my career right out of college, uh, but really realizing that that did not align with my vision. I was working the eight to five um, kind of schedule, hoping to break that, like um, sounds like Chase is. And I wanted more to myself than just um, working behind a desk. I wanted to know that I was making an impact in people's lives. Uh, so I came back to Iowa where uh, unemployment is low, the housing market is low, and it's great for young professionals like myself. So it was an awesome opportunity to really sit with what is my vision for my life and what I want to create? And I knew that was education, uh, making a difference. I um, am also a high school teacher. I teach government, financial literacy, um, mathematics, U.S. history, all of that. Um, so this is kind of um, in addition, per se, uh, but it's so much fun to have a passion. And I want to inspire you, especially in this time right now. Um, many of you are probably joining me from home. You're working from home right now. Um, just like myself, I'm in Houston, our schools are closed, and um, I'm doing grad school online for my master's and coming up with possibilities. So we're living in a time of uncertainty right now. We don't really know where the economy is going. We don't know uh, what's going on with this virus, but I am choosing to look at it as an opportunity. So it's an opportunity to be truly aligned with my vision. You have so many ways to take it. So we get to work with money um, working for us. And what I wanna say is, so we get to be intentional with our vision. So for me, that's empowering others. And that's deciding that empowering others is launching Master Your Money Academy. So we'll be doing the um, Friday videos every um, Friday on webinars, and then I'll hop the Monday as well. And what I wanna to talk to you today about is how money doesn't buy happiness. So it's creating a, a career aligned with your vision. So each of you have a vision and a um, job is a mechanism of that vision. And it's a mechanism of finance. So you get to create it on this mechanism aspect of, okay, great, I have a job. Does that job work for me? Or am I um, working for the career that I'm passionate about? So for me, like for example, in corporate finance, um, I was working the eight to five. I was having uh, very little interaction with uh, the customers and wasn't feeling that I was empowered and I felt that my vision was to give out more. And that's what has led me into education. So I wanna challenge you in this opportunity right now to think about, am I in a career that is serving me? Is it serving my financial goals? And my financial goals, for example, um, for me, I mean, retirement would be like retiring to Italy, um, on a winery, teaching from around the world um, type of thing. So no, I can't go do that right this instance, but I have the opportunity to create that right now. So I can set myself up today for 20, 30 years from now, knowing that I'm in my vision and I'm aligned with whatever my career goals are and what does financial freedom to me mean. So financial freedom to me means I don't want any debt. Um, I have all my Zoom, I don't have any Zoom loan debts. So um, the next goal for me, for example, is paying off my car note. So yes, I have goals set in place of how I'm going to reach that. And I'm very intentional with every dollar. And that's the big purpose of being visionary with our dollars is making a purpose of how we are going to set ourselves up to master our money, make money work for us, 
So you don't want the money controlling you. So you get to be creative. You get to decide how is money going to be um, very impactful and intentional with every single dollar. So that means that if I am spending money on, let's say, eating out right now, um, is that truly intentional? So there's two sides to the story. I can say it's intentional and in that I'm building connections with others. So that's my vision. I love chatting with people. So for example, hit me up for one-on-one um, -on -one coaching, et cetera. So if we're doing that over lunch or coffee, does it have intention? Absolutely, I'm getting to connect with you. But at the same time, do I need to go to Starbucks every single day on the way to work? Is that being very intentional um, aligned with my vision? Maybe not. Um, coffee may be um, a way to operate. And I will tell you that as a teacher, I actually don't drink coffee. Um, I know, call me crazy. Um, I don't know how I survive. So um, if anyone has the answer to that, let me know. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, so I don't go to, I don't go drink coffee, but um, let's say you did. A lot of my um, coworkers do. There are, is a difference between maybe going to Starbucks every day versus brewing a Keurig, bring it in a mug. Uh, you can be creative. And this is an awesome opportunity to do that, especially in this environment. Oh, I see lots of sad faces. I'm not telling you you can't go drink um, coffee, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, maybe you're crying because I don't drink coffee. Uh, I'm just like naturally bubbly and energetic. <laughs> so anyway, yes, you can cry for me because I don't go to Starbucks and drink coffee. Um, absolutely. So um, there's other ways to get me uh, awake in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, love the interactions. So, um, oh, Brooke, I see. How do people afford to buy coffee every day? Blows my mind. Um, yeah, blows my mind too. So, and that is exactly where we get to be intentional with our dollar. So are we spending money on coffee and then coming to the end of the month and we can't pay our rent or we can't buy our groceries? So absolutely, <laughs> it blows my mind as well. So um, what I want to tell you is that there is abundance of money in the world. Okay, there is abundance of money in the world. We get to create it. We get to say, this is how money is going to work for us. Okay, so I am money. I am abundance. I can source that. So being aligned visionary with the career that you're going to take um, and what you really the tools that you should have been learning in high schools all the way broken down into budgeting and being purposeful. I'm not saying you have to do the whole mattress under the bed envelope. Um, it's a great tool. But I want to preface that with you get to be intentional about it as well. So I'm very budgeting out. I have intention of how I'm going to operate my money. I'm making money work for me every day. So I am being creative right now. And I um, will be the first to admit that, yes, I filed for unemployment. I'm not teaching in the public schools. I am making money work for me. So um, every little bit counts. Um, it's kind of the concept of picking up every penny um, that you see on the ground. So over time, that grows in interest and um, you can make it work for you. So yes, file for unemployment if um, that's what you need right now. File for FMLA. At the same time, it's an opportunity to look at what's aligned in our vision. So for me, it's educating, it's, uh, and empowering others. So yes, I'm not working in a school right now, but I get to be creative with online resources. So I want to challenge you. So if you are uh, missing opportunities for income right now, I, a lot of uh, millennials, young professionals work those second jobs, are working um, in the restaurant industry, uh, working in hospitality. So a lot of those are closed right now. But how can you be innovative? How can you be creative? Uh, what is your talent and niche? What are you passionate about? How can you bring that on into creative ideas? So yeah, so many different creative ideas, Monica, um, that we can't launch. So that's where we get to be aligned with our vision. We all have a purpose out here in the world that we get to bring. We get to realize what is that? So for me, it's empowering others. I'm passionate about education. I'm passionate about financial literacy. Um, as well. Some of you may be passionate about other aspects and we get to figure out what those are. 
So there's so many uh, different opportunities to be innovative. I know I've talked to people who, uh, for example, are in the jewelry making business. Well, this is an awesome opportunity to offer workshops online to kids. So many kids are at home right now and would love to be joined. That's an easy way to offer your services online, be innovative, be creative, and still be aligned in your vision and um, have dollars growing with you. So awesome, awesome opportunity um, as well. There's different opportunities for those that um, maybe are working in the restaurants. How can you innovate yourself and provide like takeout to senior citizens? You can be generous at the same time um, to go and do like grocery deliveries. So for example, my grandparents um, live in a condo. They are very self-isolated right now. Um, and they are totally taking advantage. Um, here in Houston, Texas, our big grocery store is called HEB, um, and they are totally taking advantage of the delivery uh, to their condo. Well, those are jobs right now that are in high demand because the grocery stores are not 24 seven doing delivery like that. So you get to be innovative. It doesn't matter if that's a temporary job or a long-term career. So how does it align to your vision? How are you giving at the same time? Because I believe in when you give generously, you're going to um, get money back as well. So process to follow to identify creative ways. Um, yes, I am absolutely an analyzer. <laughs> uh, thanks for pointing that out, Monica. Um, yes, grew up in finance. Uh, <laughs> I, both my parents are CPAs. So yes, grew up with the whole... <laughs> analyzer budgeting has kind of been um i guess i could say money was like my first word in a way uh, it really wasn't but uh, yes i started with a bank account when i was uh in the fourth grade i was so inspired by money setting myself up for college for my future um so it was a great way so how can you set that process up right now uh, so you can set that process up in the sense of we talked about rainy day funds on Monday millennial money. And my big recommendation on that is um, don't do it in envelopes because it doesn't grow interest, but you do get to be intentional. So I talk a lot about CDs. I know I dropped some um, comments on there for Paula earlier in the week. If you saw that on the Facebook group and page, um, I believe is also on the story. Um, so just certificates of deposit are really great ways to set up a rainy day fund and be intentional with your dollar. It grows interest um, usually in like six to anywhere from like six to 12 month increments. And um, it grows as you um, go because you get penalties for um, drawing your money out. So it's basically like you're loaning to the bank back. So that's a really great way um, as well. And um, the other thing I want to point out as well is that time is money. So think about it, how you can use time in your best advantage right now. Uh, what new concepts can you learn? Um, can you invest into yourself? So there's so much abundance out there. There's so much value that you can bring to the world. Uh, and whatever is happening now is really only temporary. So you get to be creative. So remember, I am money, I am abundance, I am valued, money is on my team. My vision and my financial freedom are so much bigger than this virus. And we get to set ourselves up for 20, 30, 40 years from now. Uh, because I know for me, at least, I still have a life to live and this virus is gonna be temporary and we're gonna beat this and we're gonna uh, get to figure out together how to make money work for us. Um, so right now, I want to open it up for some questions. I know um, you guys have been posting a lot of things in the comments, um, and I'm going to scroll through them and hopefully be able to answer some. So if you have questions on what is your vision for your life, how um, does mastering your money and financial freedom align with your vision, uh, budgeting tips, I know um, I shared with um, Anna about um, Mint and zero-based budgeting apps uh, that Dave Ramsey has put out. I definitely uh, really, really love those. So um, if there's any type of questions on that that I can answer, drop them in the comments and I will do my very best to scroll as we're live. And if I don't get to you while we're live, I will definitely respond to every message. Um, also remember that you can drop me uh, any messages. I'm um, more than happy to do one-on-ones with people. 
uh, because I believe in empowering um, everyone to live a life of financial freedom. And um, at the same time, I'll be the first one to tell you that, um, no, am I, do I have all the money in the world? Absolutely not. I'm not rich by any means. Um, but at the same time, I choose to look at the term of rich as um, how you want to interpret it. So am I rich in abundance? And am I making money work for me? Yes, absolutely. So am I rich in that sense? Yes. Um, I'm aligned in my vision and I know how money is going to work for me and I'm not going to live in a scarcity mindset. So yes, I choose to be rich on life and it's a choice you get to make um, at the same time. So is quote unquote rich? I mean, if it's in your vision to uh, live on the coast of California, by all means, absolutely. If that's your vision, let me help you get there. If your vision is uh, living, I don't know, in the Midwest and having um, just kind of the middle America lifestyle of buying a first home, let me help you get there. Um, there's so many different concepts of rich. So I get that question a lot. And uh, so all I'm gonna say is everyone is capable of um, being rich and being financially free forever, whatever your goals are. It's exactly what I tell my students. Um, success looks different to everybody and I'm going to walk the path with you and help you get there. So um, I'll open up to questions, pop in here. Let's see what questions we've got. So I will scroll all the way back up to the top. Let's see, hi Jason, hi Derek, hi Anna, hi Monica. Um, oh, how is my morning? My morning has been fantastic. Um, obviously I've gotten to um, be with you guys and um, I see that Chase is on here. I know that I owe Chase a workout. Um, so I'll piggyback on Chase a little bit, actually talking about um, how you get to be creative. So um, Chase owns a boxing gym in British Columbia um, and I am so proud of him. He has shifted on taking his boxing gym um, online. He gets to offer online workouts. That's been a very great innovative um, way to offer your services in this um, really time of uncertainty and need. So he's absolutely living his vision for financial freedom, empowering others. So um, it's really awesome that he has been able to shift that. So proud of you, Chase. Um, breaking free from the eight to five schedule, breaking free from ties to location. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So um, I will share that if you think your location or your eight to five schedule is your vision, maybe, maybe not. Um, it's more of what I call a mechanism. So what I personally want, and I want to say that this is all for um, different people. So it depends on what you want out of life. So for me, I don't want to be tied to a certain location and um, I guess I would say I'm a prime example. My uh, born and raised here in Houston, Texas, my entire family is here um, in Texas. I don't really have any ties to Iowa. Um, I love Iowa right now, don't get me wrong, um, but is that where I'll be for the next 20, 30 years? No idea, and that's totally okay. Um, so yes, so don't let yourself be tied to a location. Uh, many of us look for jobs where we grew up and but I want you to think back to, is that because you value being close to family or you're afraid to take a risk and put yourself out there? There's two, di there's a, two different concepts there. So if it's to be close to family and that's what you value most, then by all means, be, be in that location. But if it's because I'm too afraid to leave home, then that's a little bit of a different um, consideration because go for it. Like you don't know until you try. Kind of thing and then that's what this environment is right now we get to try we get to be creative um, at the same time and then breaking from that eight to five schedule again it's making the work schedule work for you are you being intentional with your time because time is money and it's valuable and you're never going to get time back so are, how are you making your work schedule work for you so is it do you want to be working in an office eight to five how does that line up with the vision you have for your life or do you get to go be an entrepreneur and set your own work schedule? Or do you get to ask for flexibility? You get to um, enroll your manager or whoever sets that schedule into shifting it. It really depends on um, ultimately your vision for your life, how that career lines up with your vision, 
Um, I mean, yes, there are some jobs that are eight to five. Um, I mean, in, when I was working in corporate finance, I worked the eight to five schedule. And did that serve me at that time? Yes. Um, did it come to a point where I decided that that was not serving me? Yes. So I was working eight to five and I had an hour and a half commute each direction. That was killing my day. Um, and I knew that I had more to offer out in the world. So I got to discover what was realigned. So yes, absolutely make the eight to five work for you uh, for sure. Um, hi, Brooke. Hi, Isis. Let's see. Oh, Dimitri, Shiloh. Um, so, yes, let's see. Oh, I love that you connected with Amazon, Isis. Um, yes, 100% is possible. 100% of the time, Monica. Absolutely. Um, yes. Thanks, Jer Derek. Yes, I love being an educator uh, mixed with finance. I think I bring a really unique uh, perspective. And if any of the students are watching, I miss you guys. Um, I can't wait to be back in the classroom soon as well. Um, hi, Allison, Anastasia, McKenzie, Intention. Um, yes, absolutely. Do not want money controlling you. Thanks for pointing that out, Rob. Um, love that comment. So yes, don't let money control you. Um, we don't get to live in a mindset of scarcity. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, I think we're going to hop off. Um, if I missed any other questions, I will definitely get to them all in the comments. Thanks so much for tuning in for Financial Freedom Friday. And don't forget, I'll be back on Monday for uh, Monday Millennial Money Motivation. So that will be over on Instagram Live, um, and then it should link to the Facebook Live as well. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them definitely in the comments. Give this page a like, tag all your friends, because I will be back next Friday as we kick off Financial Literacy Awareness Month. It, I am so excited. It's my like, favorite month out of the year. Um, and I get really pumped. So lots of great topics. I know um, I see Nora on here um, saving for a house during this time. Absolutely. Um, we will be talking about that next week. And I will drop um, some recommendations down in the comments. I have um, realtors and um, home buying experts who are going to be hopping on the show. So we'll definitely be talking about that. Um, Parker, sites or apps to analyze purchases, online credit cards. Absolutely. Uh, we will definitely talk about credit cards. I'll drop you um, also some app recommendations on there. Um, I did talk about Mint a little bit earlier. Uh, that's a great one that can analyze your credit card purchases. Um, and there's a couple other ones that I will drop into comments as well. And then, um, yes, I'm not saying you can't drink coffee. I know you love coffee. Um, but you get to be <laughs> intentional about it as well. So my recommendation is maybe Starbucks, not every single day. Um, you can have, a, you, you're welcome to bring a coffee to Financial Freedom Friday. That's usually um, what we do at the schools. Like the teachers will all bring in Starbucks on um, Fridays. And then we have a coffee machine um, the other days. So that way we are saving monies um, at the same time and being intentional with the dollar. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great Friday. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will chat with you all soon. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy.